Hello and welcome to this unboxing and review. Today we're going to be looking at the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Boba Fett figure from The Empire Strikes Back. And this is the 40th anniversary edition. This figure release actually has two alternate versions. It has the film version and then it also has the movie um, pre-production version. So there's one figure, different parts of costumes. You can um, make them look like two different versions of Boba Fett. So it was kind of unique um, about the Hot Toys packaging. It's always well done. And as we remove this sleeve, you can kind of see, since this is the 40th anniversary, it does have that iconic Kenner Toys um, look. You got those double border around the window. Very, very nicely done by Hot Toys, kind of with the 40th anniversary edition, kind of a throwback to the old um, retro Kenner days um, figures. So we'll turn this, the box around here, and you kind of see it actually shows an, an image of the the figure itself which is a nice touch and then we'll spin it back again another photo in the back you can see with two stormtroopers in the background again the the retro package and look kind of goes through the back and then we look at the side i'll turn it around and it's kind of showing the the alternate version of boba fett the movie um, pre-production version so yeah and the picture of the figure so yeah the nice little details there And we'll we'll get to unboxing, but before we do that, I'm going to show you um, here. This is my original as when, when I was a kid. I still have it, still got it in the box. We kind of show you my original 12-inch Boba Fett. Kind of want to show just a little contrast, as you can see the 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 Kenner, the iconic look. I was just mentioning earlier the look of the packaging. So, and it's just a real nice contrast. I want to show you this this kind of nice contrast with the old. 12 inch figure Boba Fett as a kid you play with a toy compared to these new high end um, collectible figures 1 6 scale figures similar size but the detail is just pretty immaculate so I just want to kind of show a nice contrast and kind of show and found that just not recently in my attic I was like oh I still have it so I was kind of glad I had to hold that from my, my childhood and never never got rid of it so but as we unbox this figure here we'll kind of show you all the all the nice things that are included with this particular Boba Fett released by Hot Toys. And before we get to taking all these clamshells and all the different layers you can see, we'll look at the instruction sheet that Hot Toys always normally includes with all their figures because there's always a lot of parts, as you can see, of this figure, and it's really nice to have an instruction sheet kind of showing you what goes where and how to put it together and all that other good stuff. So we'll take a look at this instruction sheet and see what's what Hot Toys has put in this figure. Um, this instruction sheet how to put it together so forth so and as we um, un unfold it we can kind of see it's nice to actually show a visual of all the different pieces and how to put the different parts of the costumes such if you want to make them at the, uh, the film version or the movie pre-production version everything's kind of showing step by step and then as we turn it around which is really nice surprise that hot toys included for the 40th anniversary and this really really cool looking illustration of all the bounty hunters so it's a really nice touch that they added this little um, illustration. Um, they normally don't do this on other their figures, and this was a really nice surprise and really nice little addition they did. So now let's take a look at all the different pieces that make up this figure, and let's take out the the bottom layer first, and we'll kind of go over each piece um, as we um, take each piece out and before we assemble the figure. So there is the base, really nicely done. They've Use this base in other figures. Um, some of the Stormtrooper figures had the similar base. It's kind of almost like basically from the Empire Strikes Back, from where the Cloud City, where the Ugnets are. So it's real nice that they actually got the grating on there. And then here's the other stand portion with the crotch grabber. That actually will attach to that base that we just pulled out. And let's take a look at the the alternate version of the pouch. And I was talking that actually open flat but it's actually um, sewn on there so yeah really nice brown um, you can kind of look at this they both got some really nice weathering effects on it as well so those are, those are the alternate versions of those pouches to go around on his belt and then take a look at his cape the green cape he's got little holes in it so then again more weathering on it nicely done and the thing they always do really like is they actually make a little put a bendy wire in there so it makes the pose in the, the cape really easy and then i didn't 
I'm going to show you his hands, but right up there is his, his two spats on the very right below those pouches. I didn't show you those, but those are his little spats. And we kind of show that at the end of the video. I'll show it um, put together. But you can see the hand poses. This is the alternate version in brown. And now here is the blaster and all this glory and all this detail. So very nicely done. Yeah, I mean, just it's a Hot Toys. What can you expect? Hot Toys always puts um, all the detail, all their just really nicely. The paint, the sculpt, everything about it, and it's just you can see it's very nicely done. And and then even here's the the little blaster pistol. Uh, again, the sculpt, the detail. Uh, this is um pretty pretty amazing. I mean, you can see the the paint app on that is well done as well. And we'll take a look at the alternate version of his blaster pistol there. And he's got a little, uh, I mean, the, the, just the, the coloring of, on that is kind of unique. And just the detail on that, again, well done. And I like the little little bendable, the little pleather, the little strap there that goes over his shoulder as a little uh, shoulder strap for that weapon. Yeah, nicely done. These next items are Boba Fett shin tools. This first one is the um, sonic beam weapon. This is his sonic beam weapon. Um, the detail on this is, again, very nicely done. The paint and the sculpt. And this next shin tool is the survival knife. And, again, very nicely detailed. And the third tool for Boba Fett um, uses. It's in a, as part of the shin tools. This is the anti-security blade. And the next one, which doesn't, it looks different. I don't know if there's a different version, which is, is his jetpack adjustment tool. So the jetpack adjustment tool is a little bit different. It's more like a, a pipe almost kind of. So I don't know if this is a, a, a different alternate version. Let's take a look at the gauntlets. Here's the brown gauntlet and um, nicely detailed and painted. This is his alternate version, uh, the, the movie um, pre-production version of the gauntlet. So yeah, it's in brown. And again, you got the little hose there. And then we'll take a look at his um, shoulder, another shoulder gauntlet here. And this is this is for the alternate version too. Kind of different um, color, though, different symbol. And then we'll look at the other gauntlet. It's like a flamethrower on there. I like how the it's got the little red uh, wire going across that that uh, area where the the flames comes out and the weathering on that. And here the again the hoses. They look like they they look like they could be like you know string fabric with a plastic coating on it. So they're very flexible and yeah, the detail on this, the weathering, and it looks like some of the you know the paints chipped off. The how they did it was really well done so yeah you can kind of see that's kind of that will go into his um into his uniform into his uniform his costume now like i said at the very end of the, the video i'm going to assemble both figures we'll take a quick look 360 of um, how the figures are all put together but yeah that's a really nice looking um, piece there and look at his standard hands right there there's not as many it does seem like there's not as many as the with the alternate version, and then we also have replaceable um, extra hand pegs in case you break one. And take a quick look at the figure itself, and you can see the tailoring is well done. And it looks like a miniature shrunken down Boba Fett. Yeah, I mean, look at the the helmet, the detail on that, the sculpt. I mean, this looks like it's got the major the weathering you you've seen in the in the film, like the paint chip on it. You even got the little Wookie braids there, and there's just a um, posable cape, a lot of weathering ripped up. Yeah, just I mean the detail on these things is just far not amazing. They're very top notch. I mean, I toys uh, spare no expense on this. These little shippered and plastic things protect the the feet. They're always a pain, uh, but I'll take those off a little later because they have that tape around it. See the belt and. Everything about it. I mean, there's the little hoster right there, and those are the little, you know, little hooks that the jetpack connects to. His rangefinder actually moves up and down. 
and easily moves his head around and yeah the post building in here so far just adjusting um yeah even though the little armor knee armor there even the paint on, up on that is really well done as well yeah it's a great looking figure man hot toys just they 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 never um never cease to to disappoint and uh, in some of these in their some of the releases and stuff so and here is the jetpack again weathered very nicely done this is the actual film version and i'm trying to think i wonder if there's actually a magnet i thought i saw something about a magnet in there but i'm not sure if it's really a magnet in there there could be one but i like the you know see the adjustable nozzles they even move and even detail on the these actually which is pretty cool but that little rocket there is actually molded on there so that actually doesn't pop off that doesn't come off and then we'll take a look at the the movie uh, pre-production version the alternate version of boba fett there's his other jetpack a different color scheme again weathered very nicely done the weathering and just the paint app i mean just really good looking um piece again the jet nozzles actually move but yeah definitely a, a big nice a big difference in contrast the two between the two film and the pre-production movie pre-production version and here is the alternate movie pre-production version those little ear things right there major difference there on the between the on the actual film version of boba fett but again the weathering the detail the range finder goes down as well is um proposable yeah very 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 nice looking helmet there and there is boba fett all put together looking really good very impressive i'm very um very happy that this is um to add this to my star wars collection of one six scale figures and it is definitely um, a great looking figure well done once again by hot toys i mean they knocked this figure out of the park again for the 40th anniversary edition and you can see he's got the pistol in his holster right there if you look in the back yeah and this was it was kind of unique really cool uh, and I thought when I was going to switch out the different versions how difficult would it be to remove the pouches but in the back of his belt there's like little strings and I thought I had to take I would have had to take those off but fortunately not hot toys thought of just putting a velcro in the back of that belt and it's velcroed on so you just pop it off so it's very easy um, to interchange the different parts if you want to make a the pre-production movie pre-production look or the film version look so very interchangeable very easy to do and you can see by his feet just the the little spats that i mentioned earlier that i didn't pull out and show you in detail but they're just a nice little cloth they've got the velcroed on there in the bottom so that's another one of the difference in the alternate version of boba fett in this really release so yeah just i can't say any um anything negative about this figure it's very very well done another hot toys great release um and Definitely appreciate everyone sticking around, watching the video, and, um, and I don't know if they're still available. They may be out of stock. You can um, check Sideshow where I pre-ordered this one, and um, yeah, and then like I said, I'll have some more videos similar to these collectibles and gaming and what have you, and I appreciate everyone's support. Do please leave a like if you like it, a comment, or anything like that, and thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.